Welcome back, fine, beautiful, gentle people of Sky Nation. It's your boy Blue here, coming at you with uh, some Sons of the Forest gameplay. This is part two. I'm pretty dang excited. If, uh, if you'll remember, last episode, we met our good friend Kelvin, who ran amok in the forest and was mm, mildly helpful in helping to uh, us build the Cabin of Dreams. We were kidnapped by cannibals. We saw a three-legged woman. Uh, there were some strange, kind of like nimbly bimbly people. We got attacked by them. It, it a lot happened. A surprising amount happened for a survival game. So I'm looking forward to day number two. Uh, I believe we slept. It is either the morning or the night. I'm thinking this is nighttime. Yeah, if memory serves correct, I don't think we actually slept slept. So why don't we go ahead and get some sleep in here. All right, there we go. It is now morning. The day is ours to do with as we please. And you know what we please? We're going to finish the Cabin of Dreams. Now, uh, last time we were working on said Cabin of Dreams, we were attacked by a group of curious looking people we didn't think they were cannibals we weren't entirely sure what they were but they they didn't seem altogether aggressive and then we got attacked by them and it turned out that for whatever reason at that point in time they became aggressive uh going back reviewing the footage uh trying to you know doing a little bit of research on the internet i think what happened is we ended up accidentally hitting one with our axe while we were falling a tree. And that was the mistake that we made. So, uh, the hope is that today we can not make that mistake. And instead we can befriend these strange, nimbly bimbly creatures. Uh, like I said, today we're going to be completing the Cabin of Dreams. Do we have... Yep, we do have duct tape, so we can also complete a, a bed of sticks of dreams. I don't know if I really dream to sleep on a bed of sticks, but I guess if I was stuck in the midst of a deserted island with three-legged women and cannibals and mud people, as I think they're referred to online, probably a bed of sticks isn't so bad. I also have to say, you know, the singing birds is just kind of nice. I really do enjoy that as I rip down their habitat, their territory, and uh, instead fashion it into a place where I can sleep. There's something, there's something very uh, cryptic and poignant in there, a message about human globalization and industrialization and all those things. Who is this guy now? Okay, so this is, this is a... This is a brand new person. I don't think we've seen this guy yet. He... Oh, he's wearing a mask? He's definitely not good. I think he's... Well... I, I gotta say, I really... I'm enjoying this game so... I'm enjoying this game so far, but there's like... There doesn't seem to be a very set antagonist. Like... I'm coming along upon a lot of different people that look very different. But I just don't know. Maybe I can, like, give him some berries. Let's see if we can give him berries. I don't know. We might not even be able to give him any berries. I just... I just don't know who this person is. That's, like, five different groups of people that we've met that all look different and all are kind of threatening, but not really threatening. With the exception, of course, of the cannibals, who are quite threatening. But it's hard to tell who and what is your enemy in this game, which probably is a good thing. You know, it keeps you guessing, keeps the body guessing. That's important. So we'll just keep on, keep on keeping on with the... Cabin of Dreams. I once again don't know where our teammate Kelvin has gone to. He could be 
swimming, frolicking, prancing, anything, of course, but what we left him doing, building the cabin. Because, you know, that would just be... Honestly, that probably is a bit asking a bit too much from somebody who suffered a very severe head injury yesterday. Maybe we're just kind of thinking a bit too... Thinking a bit too stringently. Maybe he just needs to relax. Let himself heal for a few days. I don't mind. I'm sure he'll come around some one of these one of these days. He's not sleeping. Okay, I thought maybe he was sleeping in the tent, but he is not. Alright, we are officially working on the floor. So that's exciting. Okay, so there's one of those mud men, they're called. Hey, but it's okay. We are not... Apparently, I, from what I've read, they eat flesh. So if we can find some flesh to give them to eat, they will become our friends. It's a little morbid, but, you know, I'm, I'm willing to play ball, certainly. Oh, okay. So, completely forgot that we need to eat and drink. Uh, <laughs> we should... We're, I guess we're going to be doing that now. Not a, not a professional gamer. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Just, uh, just little old me. And little old me forgets that we need to eat and drink in this survival game. So we're going to go ahead and a drink of some water here from this stream that has no GRD in it, I am quite sure. And we are going to eat these berries. Wonderful. We got all kinds of berries. We can eat so many berries. Oh my god, do we have to eat them one at a time though? Who eats blueberries one at a time? Especially when you're starving on a desert island. He's just every blueberry, one after another. They fill up, like, no health, either. Seriously, somebody should have. Somebody should have thought of this. This is interminable. All right, let's check out this MRE. This is probably going to be better. All right, Sloppy Joe MRE, we're just going to throw the garbage right on the ground. Back to building. That's America. I love it. There, there have to be traps also. I wonder if we can build traps of some kind. I see a lot of like woodland creatures. Yeah, here we go. Traps. We got a fish trap. We got a small animal trap. Bone maker's trap. I don't know what a bone maker trap is. Maybe these are like trap traps. I don't know. Turtle trap. I don't know what that is. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make a fish trap. A little bit later. I'm feeling I'm feeling like eating some fish today. But first, cabin of dreams. <laughs> While surrounded by these crazy yahoos and their weird laughter that's just very concerning. I don't like it one bit. Not one bit. Thing that I, I learned in the very beginning of this game um, when I was kind of going through testing audio levels just kind of getting a little bit of the idea of the controls so I'm not just like bumbling around trying to bring you content is uh, at the very beginning of the game it seems as if the game starts you with a single roll of duct tape so with that roll of duct tape before you find any other duct tape you have two options. You can either A, make a bed of sticks, uh, or B, you can make a spear. So the first time I ended up making the spear, and then I wasn't actually able to sleep inside of... 
I wasn't actually able to sleep inside of any of the any of the initial stuff that I had built. Um, whereas if you you can make a bed and then find a spear later, the only use that I found for the spear where the axe or the knife wasn't as good is uh, spear fishing. But now that we can make fish traps, which I didn't realize until just now. Uh, really, the, the spear fishing doesn't seem quite as necessary either. So I'm kind of I'm just opting for building the the bed of sticks. We can go to sleep, have a little bit of safety. I don't know what comes in the future, but I'm feeling like I'm feeling like sleeping in a tent for the first number of days until I find more uh, duct tape. It doesn't sound the safest, especially since, you know, we did die on day number one. So, just a, just a little fun tip from your boy Blue. Go with the bed. Spear fishing can come later. Boy, I sure wish my man Kelvin were helping with this. This would go so much faster if Kelvin were anywhere but where he is. Yeah. And instead, could be here with us, building the cabin of dreams. Tell you what, if he thinks I'm building a second stick bed, he is absolutely incorrect. He can sleep in the tent until he builds his own cabin of dreams, because I'm petty. I'm a petty bitch like that. You watch, he's probably off dead somewhere, and then I'm gonna feel bad about this virtual character that I've just been I've just been defaming the entire time. I've been reluctantly building this cabin. But he's like being eaten by cannibals, and I'm just complaining about how he's not helping build this cabin. I'm just a terrible person, virtually. strange but very handy phenomena that has been happening is that that's not what I wanted is that as I build this cabin that we can save these for firewood uh, as I build this cabin I'm noticing that these logs roll down the hill towards me which is uh, kind of nice it's like the little stuff. It's like the it's like the niceties of survival life. Just a little bit, not quite as far to have to walk. I will say, at this point in the day, I am getting a little bit worried that Kelvin is just gone. Like, he just is not here. And if he isn't here, I don't know where he is, because, I mean, he's a he's a character. It's not, you know, I, there's only so much that can, like, really happen to him. But I am curious as to, like, what he's doing and why he just hasn't showed up. Like, I really hope that I, I haven't, like, lost him for the rest of this playthrough. And I don't think so, but, I mean, I really have no, no real way of knowing. I wonder if I can, like... Maybe that could be used as, like, firewood later? I'm not totally sure. Anyways, as we were saying, 
Kelvin should have appeared, so I don't know what he's doing. My hope is that he is somewhere available, because he is very handy. He p collects sticks, collects rocks. I don't know if he fights, because we haven't seen him fight yet, but Lord knows if he does fight, that sounds like that's going to be... <gasps> oh, there he is! My main man, Kelvin. What's up? Where have you been? You get to... Immediately go back to work. Brain injury or not. Get back there! Alright. See where he goes. Perfect. Alright, now we've got two of us. He shows up like as like it needs like two more logs. We built like this whole damn thing ourselves today, and then he just shows up. He's like out, you know, just enjoying some berries, sitting in the sun. And then he shows up, claims all of the frill and the pomp associated with being a builder of the Cabin of Dreams without actually putting in any of the work. I also don't know why Kelvin's decided he's going to go to the other side of the river to pick up logs when we very clearly have logs on this side. I mean, that's a small complaint. I'm glad he's getting logs at all because uh, he's been kind of hit or miss about that anyways. But why is he going over way over there? he got logs. he got all kinds of logs all around here. I've been cutting them down all day and probably picking up half of them because I'm not a min-maxer, damn it. We don't need to be wholly productive this entire time. We can be wasteful. It's a desert island. Look at all of these trees. We cut one down, use one log from every tree. I don't care. It's less uh, infrastructure for these heathen cannibals. So what's up? Oh, we're so close now. I am so excited. We've been building this cabin for, it feels like, probably an hour of just, like, real-life time. It takes a while, but damn it if it isn't pretty. Let's see, a couple more logs. After that, I mean, the, sky, the sky's the limit. The world is our oyster. We can do literally anything we want to now that we have the Cabin of Dreams built. Probably build the Stick of Dreams, Stick Bed of Dreams first. And then uh, catch some fish. Build a stick trap. That'll be fun.
kind of interminable at this point. Like every time I bring over logs, I'm like, this has to be the last batch of logs, but it never is. There's always like a couple more logs. That's it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cabin of Dreams. Let me, uh, let me give you a little tour. MTV Crypt style. Just rip off the door. Perfect. <laughs> Just throw the door there. Nailed it. Alright, so this is the Cabin of Dreams. Uh, over here is the bedroom. Uh, this up here is going to be a loft. And then over here, we have the kitchen. Uh, over on this side is where the bathroom is. And then I think we're going to put a pool about there. Give or take. She's sturdy. She'll do. All right. Oh, we also need the stick bed of dreams. Uh, let's see. We got shelter, furniture, stick bed. Stick bed of dreams with added foliage. Just just for a little something. A little something beautiful. Oh we need more sticks. It's always something. More sticks, more rocks, more logs. We couldn't just have enough sticks as it is. That's okay. Sticks are Pretty easy to come by. I'll take this down. Because now we have a place to sleep on the stick bed of dreams. Uh, for anybody wondering how to take this down, uh, if you are playing on an Xbox controller like me, uh, the button is X. And if you are playing on anything else, I'm not totally sure. It's E, I think. And square, possibly? Nailed it. Stick bed of dreams. Now we need to save of dreams. Perfect. All right. First task done. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling proud. I'm feeling productive. I'm feeling like this is going to be possible. All right. Well, that's not how we put the door on, do we? Oh, uh, no. This door has to go on here somehow. There it is. All right, we just place it and then rip it off and place it. Perfect, okay, we've got ourselves a door. Now we need sticks and a fish trap and fire and duct tape and limbs to feed the nimbly bimbly people got our work cut out for us. Sun is setting. So I think we can cut small trees for sticks. Like this guy. I think that makes like a number of sticks. Maybe one stick? I don't know. Yeah, it made a single stick. That doesn't... The juice does not seem worth the squeeze on that. There we go. There's some more sticks. Get some sticks, get some rocks. What do with the I wonder if the fish trap has to have like be baited? I don't know. I'm not sure. Guess we'll find out. Let me yeah, see so we have all of these extra logs. It was just not an efficient build, but that's okay. We're learning. It was our first day. Give us a break. Alright. Let's make ourselves a fish trap. Does it, it can go in the water? Yeah, it can go in the water. Oh, I'm just fine. I wonder if we can like place it and then move it. I hope so. I'm gonna be irritated if we can't. Perfect.
it tells us how many sticks we need. I didn't I didn't realize that until just now. Well, that's really nice. That's pretty handy. So we can get six more sticks, and then we'll know. That's a that's a what? I think we hit a bird? <laughs> Question mark. We definitely hit a bird somewhere. Oh yeah, there's like blood everywhere. I mean, it would be like kind of cruel not to eat it, but I don't see it. And I don't know how much time I want to spend looking for it. Is that it? Oh, it's right here. I wonder if it will let us. Well, no, just, just a wasted bird. All right, that one, well, you know. Collateral damage. That is okay. We still need six more sticks. If we could find Kelvin, we could probably task him to pick up some sticks. It seems like sticks are pretty important in this game. Like, I'm going to want to have a pretty pretty sizable collection of sticks coming up here. There we go. All right, fish trap coming up on the way. Perfect. All right, now we need to move it to a place where there are fish. Like, right, boom, right there. Awesome. Absolutely love it. All right. And last piece of business is we want a fire. We're going we're to make ourselves a little fire right here. we actually need yet to get more sticks as I was saying earlier if Kelvin were around what he does with his time I just don't know if oh there he is every time like I he just kind of comes from that way like I'm wondering if he's going out there and like jerking it or something that's definitely what Kelvin is doing it was the brain injury he's now just a complete fiend all right get sticks and drop them right here Huh? All right. Gives me a half blank stare. <laughs> he picked up that stick, and he's gonna bring it right. <laughs> he's gonna take it with him, and he's gonna drop it right back there. Perfect. <sighs> you know, head injury or no, it's still helpful. He's got to have something to do. That's plenty enough for a fire. Uh, fun fact. Good work. Kelvin. All right. All right. I take back 20% of what I've said about you so far. Uh, fun fact. If you start a fire, make sure you have large rocks. Because like, if you're going to start a fire anyways, if you have, I think, six large rocks, you actually build a fire pit. And um, A, it looks nicer. And B, I think you're less likely to set everything on fire. I'm not totally sure about that, but that's what I believe at least. All right, so let's start breaking these sticks. And grab ourselves a large rock. And we are going to place, 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 place. Boom, fire pit. Absolutely nailed it. All right. Love it. Well, it's starting to get dark out. I kind of want to just, like, just see what is around here. There we go. Just to kind of get an idea before it gets, like, too dark. I wonder if there's any camp. Really what I would like to find is some duct tape. Because we need duct tape to make another spear. 
And I would like to be able to do some spear fishing sometime soon. I have no idea how reliable that fish trap is or what the mechanics are behind it. I literally just threw it into the water and we are hoping. There's some deer. We don't want to go too far away. I don't really want to get lost in the dark here. And we have the GPS and I think we have a flashlight, I think. And batteries? And light bulbs, so, you know, there's that. Just a quick scout. I'm hoping we don't come into any more strange people, people with multiple limbs. I just want like a, a nice leisurely walk through this forest. <sighs> or run, because I'm not the one running. My virtual character, he's want on a nice leisurely jog through this here forest. Ate something off that log. Perfect. Hope we don't get sick. to see my man is really good at throwing rocks. Just hucks those things. That's what we like to see. There we go. I was trying to pull out the GPS. Oh, we're actually like really close to the ocean. Huh. And over here... There's a cave, and I think that's like a cannibal cave. So I don't really want to go like plunging headfirst into it, but I am curious what it is, especially because we built the cabin of dreams precariously close to it. So I'm kind of hoping it's not like an extremely dangerous cave of death, or else maybe we'll have to move the cabin of dreams. And we know Kelvin is not going to be any assistance. Looks like it's up here. Just a little ways. <laughs> All right, we're tired. We need to like not run so much. Found some more mushrooms. Perfect. Oh, okay, all right. Here we go. Duct tape. Uh, no. Well, we've, we've got vodka and energy bars, so quite the haul. Uh, we got more vodka. We've found two bottles of vodka. We're going to have a great evening with Kelvin. Perfect. All right, well, we seem to be right on top of whatever... Whatever this is supposed to be. Is that this? Alright. Okay, yeah, it is a cave of some kind. Oh, so. Well, there was a solar panel. It decided it was going to fall into the world. Great. Thanks, game. I hope maybe we collected it. We did not collect it. Three bottles of vodka, no solar panel. Awesome. There we go. All right, we got ourselves a solar panel, printer resin. That's cool. Oh my god, there's the bats. All right, we got to get out our handy dandy tactical axe for this. Can we go? Uh, should we? 
We'll just like peek inside. We'll just give it like a little a little peek inside. Just to see. We can always peek back out, right? Right? There's a lot of light coming from Oh. Interesting. There's like full on a light here. Canned food. Raw meat. Some cloth. And some buckets. Can we okay, where is what was that? Sound? I just, I just don't know if... Yeah, there's like... I don't know if it's wise to keep going, but man, I just want to keep going so bad. We can't even see a damn thing. But we have a... this. Alright, perfect. With this and our hatchet, we shall explore the depths of this cave. Not really. If we see anything, we're totally gonna book it. We don't have any kind of a... We don't even have a gun. Okay, so I'm seeing skulls. For one. That just overall doesn't bode well for, like, my level of comfortability. Diving in this cave. My heart legitimately is, like, beating right now. Well, it's always beating, but, like, my heart, my heart beat is a little bit quick. I feel like something is gonna... I just don't know. Something is gonna happen. Here's another light. There's so, way too many bones in this cave to feel good about it. But like, maybe we'll find something really... Okay, well we got some more meds. That's good. MREs, ammo. This looks like a precariously placed cross. Definitely want that. That will probably not protect us from cannibals. Ammo, ammo. We can't even carry any more buttons. We are going to take some and... Oh, no! Uh, run. <laughs> All right. That was it. We're not even going to fight. We're just going to book it. We know where it is. We can come back. We can come back a different day. Is he following us? We got ourselves across, we got some meds, and we took them, and our health filled, our health filled up, and then we got cold cocked, and then our health went back down. But that's okay. I'm gonna say successful, successful expedition. Now we gotta find our way back, and it is like pitch black. I wonder if we can pull out the old GPS. All right, we're gonna ride ourselves. And we're just gonna head straight on till morning. Nope. Hope that we don't fall off a cliff. I don't think so. If you know anything about deer, leave a comment down below. Cause I am curious if deer are actually like doing stuff this late at night. I always kind of thought that they were more like morning and dusk creatures, but I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know that much about deer. Let me know. And we have successfully made our way back to the Cabin of Dreams. I'm going to say overall successful day. Built a fish trap. Built a fire. Finished Cabin of Dreams. Found this crucifix. Perfect. I wonder if I can like put this fire out. I don't think so. We're going to save that meat for morning. We are going to find the cabin of dreams. There it is. All right. We are going to take down these boards. We are going to put all of this stuff away. Hop on in. I don't know what Kelvin's doing or where he is. He's jerking it out in the forest. That's too bad. That's what happens. It's very, like, precarious there. One, two, three... And we are falling asleep. Well, that's going to be it for uh, day two, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed us here on Sky Blue Gaming. I thank you very much for your viewage, viewership. I think viewership is a lot closer to what I'm trying to say. Uh, 
if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to see more, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, put a comment down below on what we could do better or what you would like to see instead of this. Whatever you do, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel because Lord knows we need it at this very infantile state of our YouTube channel. Uh, we thank you for coming. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your morning or noon or night or whatever time it is there. And uh, yeah, until next time, this is your boy Blue signing out.